What are some simple life hacks around the house that are so effective and easy that you're shocked more people don't use them? Yeah, I mean, these memes have been going viral for years. Some people have tested them. A lot of the things don't work. Some of them do work. BuzzFeed, Andrew built an entire multi-million dollar corporation off this type of content. But this viral list on Reddit recently went uh, around the globe and a lot of people are saying that these things actually are effective. Wow, and a lot of these comments got upvoted, so we're gonna go through them. Let us know which one of these you will actually be using. I know that we don't do all of these things, but maybe we'll be doing some of them now. Uh, number one, courtesy. It's amazing how simple interactions can change with please and thank you properly applied. They're also usually free. A lot of people were talking about how common niceties and courtesies from the 1960s and 70s have evaporated. So when you still maintain those type of uh, that vibe, you can get more. Yeah, I do notice that when I say thank you out loud or I like let someone go in front of me or something, especially if it's an older person, that sometimes they're like shocked. They're like, oh, you younger generation people are still thinking about this stuff. Wow. Well, thank you. Well, yeah. I mean, if you go to Japan, you go to Taiwan, you go to some places around Asia, uh, there is a lot more courtesy typically involved, right? Especially around older people. Um, point number two, leave the cat carrier out and open all the time. That's the way they don't panic when you go to the vet. So basically a lot of people are saying that cats, they start to panic when they get put in the carrier because the cats know they got to go to the vet and go through pain. So if you leave the, bar uh, the cat carrier out all the time, the cat kind of gets used to it and doesn't freak out. So basically this is just basic pattern recognition from the animal similar to a child. Point number three, Andrew, this person's saying, fill your kitchen sink up completely with water, pull the plug, let the water pressure clear your pipes. But a lot of other people said, pour boiling water down to cut the grease because inevitably, even though you're not supposed to pour grease down your kitchen sink, a lot of people accidentally do. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of grease in soups and stuff and really anything uh, off your pans and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I heard that like, you don't want to, pour too much boiling water down your pipes constantly in case the water gets stuck and then it can damage like the the plastic pipes that eventually you pass through. But anyways, yeah, I would say this kind of makes sense. I'm going with boiling water, honestly, because I don't want to waste all the water to fill up the sink. Point number four, write down momentarily good ideas. Don't lean on your memory. There's an ancient saying, the faintest ink is better than the sharpest memory. But what if you don't have a pen and pad? I mean, what, put it in a uh, your phone note or something like that? I mean, depending on what OS you're using, there's a lot of like notepad softwares like built in or you could get the add-ons. Like, it just depends. Uh, voice notes, that's a popular new thing. Uh, point number five, people throw out their shower heads because the stream gets weak, but you just soak it in vinegar for 24 hours and then you'll have a powerful shower head again. Yo, I need to do this right now mm. because I'm pretty sure I got calcium buildup in my shower head in my bathroom. Yeah, well, we got vinegar. But then if you can't remove your shower head, you need to fill it up with a bag and then tie the bag into the head. Oh, that's a good point. It's a point. little more difficult. Point number six, to increase your peace of mind, don't waste your time arguing with random strangers on the internet. I actually used to do this during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah, I, I kind of have like a... Maybe like an unsaid rule to myself, like once it gets past like one or two replies, I'm done. Like I'm done. I will reply to one person who replies to my post, my comment. But then after that, I'm just like, you know what? If, if you think you take this W because I don't respond, I don't care. I'm actually done putting my energy. If it's this. somebody high profile, I'm more likely to engage in a back and forth. But yeah, if somebody's got like a private account or like, zero followers, followers. don't it ain't even do, worth do it, not man. argue with people who have zero followers literally zero posts and zero followers do not argue with those people they a are hawk, not real a hawk does not concern himself with the opinions of a crow point number seven before cleaning the inside of a microfit wave heat up a cup of water for several minutes the steam and condensation generated makes the microwaves inside super easy to clean mm, yeah. i didn't even think about that do it Point number eight, if you can't find the answer by Googling it, add the word Reddit at the end. That's really funny. I actually think, you know, there are a lot of smart people on Reddit. I think that when it comes to information, there are a lot of people with degrees and a lot of nerdy people on Reddit and Quora. So sometimes you will get 
fairly balanced answers, especially the scientific people on these sites, not the, you know, extreme opinion side. Depends which sub forums. Yeah. Yeah. But when it comes to the actual knowledge, there's a lot of people with degrees who have studied this stuff. What do you think about those versus a chat GPT or co-pilot or AI different things too? It depends. Ooh. It depends. We got to see how the versions Ooh. get better. Right now, I like Reddit better. Point number nine. If you are the forgetful type of person, put it in a bag and hang it on your doorknob. That way, there's no way you will forget it. Because if you leave it on your kitchen counter or side table, chances are, if you're that type of person, you will forget it and leave the house without it. Yeah. You got to put it in some place that you almost have to move it in order to get through. Yes. Um, point number 10, instead of flipping people off while driving, give them a thumbs down. Flipping them off makes them feel angry and defensive. A thumbs down makes them feel stupid. Ooh, that's a good one. I like it. It, does, it doesn't like make them want to fight you as much, but you're just like, hey, right. bad move. But you can't, you can't point at them and be like, no, no, no. I think don't do a threatening, but sometimes... Uh, you know, you just shake your head. That's a good one, too. Just being like, Phew. I'm so disappointed in Whack. you. Whack. Uh, investing for your retirement. Put money in every month, even a meager amount, into an index fund or two, pref prefer preferably in a tax advantage account. Ignore what the market does. Just regularly add to it. And uh, yeah, basically, this is the best stock investment advice, Andrew for your average person, right? Yeah. Because usually people are going to make the wrong reads. They're going to overreact. They're going to underreact. They're going to let the whales play with their emotions just like they typically predicted these normies are going to react to dropping the price here and there, buy, sell, buy, sell. Uh, the vast majority of people uh, periodically investing in index funds or ETFs is going to be mm. their best bet. Point number 12, drink more water, get more quality sleep. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, I would say I stopped drinking high caffeine drinks after 3 or 4 p.m., no matter what time I plan on going to sleep. Mm. Also, I noticed that having an eye mask when you sleep helps a lot, man. Oh and a lot goodness. of people think it bothers them. You should get an eye mask. Trust me, especially if you have windows and lots of sunlight or or you you know, uh, you know like to sleep in, you uh, got to have an eye mask. I like the blackout blinds. Also, uh, it, did you, if you don't like eye masks just because they gave you some crummy ones on your local airline flight, try some premium ones on Amazon. There's different like materials that appeal to different types of people. Also, I'll say this, Andrew. If you can get access to a dry sauna, you could be in there for like 45 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day and then drink water with supplements while you're in there so you're constantly cycling your system you're sweating out the old water getting new supplement nutrient mm. cal, uh, vitamin water into your body point number 13 you are not the voice in your head nor are you the emotions you feel you are just the person experiencing those thoughts and feelings learning to separate yourself from that inner dialogue and emotions is a game changer mm. This is crazy. I, I got to just get more. Basically, you are a consciousness that is observing your thoughts and emotions in your brains and the feelings and the world around you. You are not those actual emotions, thoughts, and feelings themselves. This is a mindfulness training, guys. Um, this one's a little bit hard to explain, but let me tell you guys, this one's pretty key. Point number 14, get a bidet. A clean butthole will change your life more than you think it would. Andrew, any thoughts on the bidet? Clean buttholes do feel nice. Yeah, whether you can achieve them this way, that way, wet wipes, you know, however you need to get there. Small life hack, if you can reach into your sink from your toilet and you wet your little toilet paper just a little bit with water, it basically but, does the same as but a wet you, wipe. But, but you got to get the right type of toilet paper that doesn't shred. Right. Point number 15, uh, for example. Don't rub your butthole too hard. Another one. <laughs> So you're going to put it up there. This guy said he has ADD, so he has alarms for everything. He texts my, himself things that he needs to remember, and he preps everything the next day. He also has toothbrushes, deodorant, toothpaste, spare glasses, cologne, eye drops everywhere mm. littered around. Basically, he's saying he's the type of person who forgets things, so he knows that, so he places the things that he needs everywhere in multiple locations. See, that's pretty smart because this guy's understanding his own idiosyncrasies and his own pros and cons as a player in this game of life, and he's basically mitigating the downsides by placing things that he t knows he's going to forget. You got to life half yourself, guys. Not everybody is going to be the most responsible person in your family, and you just got to understand that. Point number 16, cooking. Anybody can learn to make simple things like burgers and fried rice. Mm. Um, 
Man, I'll just say this. Everybody should get a modern dual zone air fryer that could go up to 450 degrees. I know some of the really hot ones go up to 500 degrees. I think it could really replace everything in your whole kitchen and make life a lot easier. Um, it's funny. Somebody said this is the easy bake oven was the original air fryer. Point number 17, stop eating 90% of the sugar that you normally do in your normal diet. For example, this guy said, I'm still fat, but at least I don't feel physically and mentally exhausted halfway into the day. Oh, good point. Uh, definitely don't eat a lot of sugar in the morning when you first wake up, man. That's going to set your body up for not the right thing. You're saying insulin spikes. Yeah, they say sugar. if you're going to eat dessert and eat sugary things, eat it right after you've had a solid meal and then walk it off. And then you won't feel the effects of the sugar as much. Right, right, right. Obviously, natural sugars versus refined sugars, uh, but still sugars regardless. Point number 18, if something isn't a hell yeah, then it's a no. There's basically this guy saying, if you're not super excited to go do something, then just don't go do it. I think that that's a really interesting, I definitely think that comes with age. I think when you're younger, a lot of people say yes to things. Uh, and maybe that's a way to get a lot of life reps and spectrum of experience. But yes, when you get older, for sure, I agree with that. Number 19, cognitive behavioral therapy is something that 85% of people could probably use. Mm. See a therapist. I'll tell you this. If you can find the right type of therapist that actually understands your life and they've seen a lot of reps like similar to yours, of course, nobody's life is going to be 100 out of 100 same, but even somebody's life could have been like 80 out of 100 same. They could help you a lot think through your issues. Mm. Way better than your cousin or friend who's a good listener, okay? Trust me. Um, number 20, cutting chicken into small pieces with a pair of scissors is so much easier than using a knife. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you're a scissor man, Andy. dude. I, I will say this, man. Cutting stuff with the scissors, it's not as pretty. Steak, I wouldn't really do it if I'm actually cooking like a big steak. But like other stuff that you just need to cut up for a salad or something, just use the the kitchen scissors. Obviously, you got to wash them, but use them. Yeah, I think a lot of people are obsessed with like knife work, but it's like not everybody's a trained chef, man. Not everybody's gonna be a master. Just make it easy. Just get some better scissors. There's kitchen scissors. Uh, point number twenty one. If you are farting in public, you should spread your butt cheeks apart so it makes no noise or much less noise. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I, don't, I just feel like spreading your butt cheeks apart and letting one out feels like you're going to poop more. <laughs> right. So you're saying don't do this or I'll tell you this. You guys let me know if this one's real, but a lot of people had up this and I looked it up on YouTube. It's a thing. If you can just change the shape of the instrument, it changes the sound of the noise. Still going to smell, though. You know how you make a fart not make any noise? You spread your cheeks apart. Is that true, though? Yes. So if you're doing a fart yeah. and you pull your, like, cheeks apart and, like, open up your asshole like this, if you do that, <laughs> the fart won't make any noise. It just go. Point number 22. If you need a thing, buy the cheap version of the thing. Then if you use it so much, you wear it out, you can justify the expensive version. Basically, this guy is just referring to usage rate, cost per use distributed over the lifetime of a, uh, of a product. I always tell people, if you're going to use it every day and you're going to use it a lot, generally go with the more expensive version, like right. nine out of 10 but, times. But you don't always know if you're going to use it a lot. So sometimes buy a cheaper version to, as kind of a trial run. Like if you buy a cheaper one and you don't use it, then you know you don't need the expensive one. If you buy a cheap one and you use, the sh use it a lot, then you're like, yeah, I'll get the expensive one. I'll invest. Right. Um, now we're just getting into a few of my recommendations. Andrew, Neil Med Sinus Rinse. I'm just telling you guys, I'm popping it up right here on the thing. If you guys use Neil Med Sinus Rinses twice a day, it might change your life. I think it does work. It just seems like a lot of work to do twice a day. It's a lot of work, man. You know it's a lot of work. Well, that's why they sell the pre-mixed versions and they also sell like uh, the sprays. The sprays, but it's not going to work as good the as the The sprays form. don't work the same, I will admit, but I cannot do twice a day. I don't need it that bad. Um, I got a dry eye USB sleep mask to increase like my eye oils at night and stuff like that because I, I had dry eye issues. So there's just stuff like that. I, I think that a lot of people have ENT issues a lot more than people think because they just live with them and they accept it, but they've accepted a lower life baseline. You need to hire your baseline. Go get the, you know, take it care, get it taken care of, use the nasal strips. Uh, point number 24, Andrew, vitamin pill cases. I think a lot of people could use supplements every day, but- it's really difficult to open up like 20 jars a day if you just fill up the vitamin pill case and then you just take 
one pill a day. You could take up to 12, 24 vitamins a day. You'll feel way better after two weeks. And point number 25, if you have a water bottle, because now you're taking care of your water consumption, right? Putting supplements in there and you need to clean the water bottle, use a retainer or Invisalign cleaning tablet overnight to clean your water bottle because otherwise sometimes water bottles, they're, they're kind of hard to clean. Oh. I'm going to do that today. Use one of those tablets. Crazy. I would also, uh, I think we might have glossed over the nasal strips. I think those things really work. You can go buy on Instagram, get that one expensive one with the metal bar and the magnets, or you can just get the sticky ones uh, that are pretty cheap, um, and they have a range of them, but they really help you breathe better. Andrew, a ton of NFL linemen play with those nasal strips, and guess who played with them in the NBA? Old Impolonis. Whoa. Anyway, guys, let us know some other hyper simple, super cheap, effective life hacks in the comments section below. Um, I think it's fun to do these sometimes because, you know, sometimes we're talking about things that are so macro and, you know, even though they're all real, they're sort of like outside of your control. These are things you could order for your house, maybe get at the local drugstore and implement today. Let us know some other interesting ones in the comments section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.